everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Aloha Experience. And for today's video, I'm taking you to a full walking tour of Sheraton Princess Kayolani Hotel and I'm going to show you the common areas and the room where we stayed. The hotel has two towers with 14,451 rooms and it is located at the heart of busy Waikiki just a few steps away from the iconic Waikiki Beach and within a walking distance of some of the area's best shopping malls like the Royal Hawaiian Center and the International Marketplace. This is the entrance if you're taking Uber or doing the valet parking and actually there are two entrances the one is from Kalakoa Avenue and there's a large sitting area here where you can wait your service nice pathway here heading to the lobby or registration area as you can see there are small waterfalls pond with koi fish and beautiful cascading photos and ferns there are lots of tropical plants and i just love the greenery here there's another waterfalls that makes this spot more attractive and relaxing too The building was built in 1955 so it's really old but I'm impressed with the lobby. It's beautifully decorated and looks like they just renovated recently. The swimming pool looks clean and well maintained but for me it's a little bit small considering that there are many guests of this hotel so if you plan to use this one, make a reservation ahead. this is the entrance or exit going to Kalakoa Avenue and what I want the most is that there's an ice shaver stand here where you can buy a refreshment whenever you want so it's just a kind of nice because it's very close to the hotel many lounges and cabanas available here and at night time there are some entertainment and this is the stage where they perform Breakfast is included with your bookings. This is where you will pick up the splash bar. Uh, sandwiches and different kinds of drinks are also available here. And there are some entertainments here during nighttime. The lobby is very spacious and uh, with an open uh, concept and there are lots of seating areas and beautiful uh, decorations. What I really appreciate in this hotel is the Wi-Fi. It's really fast and on arrival, they provided us a pocket Wi-Fi that we can bring it anywhere and it's for free and they have also some GoPro accessories if you need one. They're also implementing strict COVID protocols, so there are signs everywhere reminding people to follow physical distancing and hand hygiene.
There are lots of seating areas here. However, it's always empty. This is the ground floor of the tower. I don't know why people uh, don't want to come here. It looks like there is a buffet restaurant here before. However, they abandoned it already. I'm not really sure with that. But uh, this one is so close also to the swimming pool. This hydration station here where you can refill your bottle with fresh water directly from their artesian well but uh, you know what if you are a guest here they will give you bottled water every morning and in here this is where the elevators are going to the tower and to our room so let's go up So I'm going to tour you guys to our room. It's a tower ocean double with ocean view. And this is our bathroom. It's pretty standard one with clean sink, some complimentary toiletries, a mirror. The towels look old though and they need to be replaced with new ones. And uh, the bathtub with a shower, it needs renovation also but anyway it's clean and that's the most important to us and on this side is the closet where we can keep our belongings this is where uh, they put the ice bucket the vault and mini refrigerator some extra tissue here iron and ironing board over there and this is pretty cool rechargeable flashlight that guests can use it during blackout just in case And in here is a table where you can work or eat. There's a coffee maker here, bottled water, lampshade, uh, flat screen TV, and the beds that are comfy with the pillows. And also there's a nightstand in the middle with an outlet and alarm clock and lampshade. It's actually uh, neat. And my most favorite part of it is this one. A gorgeous view outside our room and from our balcony look at that that's the Waikiki Beach and what a gorgeous weather the sky is so clear and blue and the water as well and from here you can see lots of surfers over there and across the street is the Moana Surf Rider Hotel and that's the Kalakoa Avenue it's just like the main street of Waikiki and then the Hyatt Hotel and lots of towering buildings and hotels of Waikiki actually the Marriott Resort and Spa can be seen from here and this building is another wing of the Sheraton um, Princess and what I like the most in this part of the hotel is just we don't get the direct sunlight so it's just so nice to sit here relax and enjoy the view and if you look down there that's the beautiful swimming pool of the hotel lots of coconut trees cabanas and there's a bar there some restaurant on the other side so it's just so beautiful
this is the view and situation here at night time. If you don't like a noise, this place is not for you because at night time, people are partying on the streets and lot of performers. People are really loud. Seriously, we are at the 18th floor and we can still hear them because there's no sound barrier here. And the walls of the room are paper thin. So it's really disturbing if you want to take a rest or sleep. Going back to the lobby, this one is just like a working station as you can see there's a computer there and some um, outlet uh, where you can plug in your computer's laptop or cell phone here and a very nice seating area. And on this side is an ATM machine and it's just beside the registration area and more elevators on that side and look at this one beautiful lanterns on the ceiling nice and there's a unique wall at the back of the registration area it's full of pictures about the, the Hawaiian history And on this part is where you can find the bell service and the concierge. And if you will continue to walk, there is a wall here about the history of the Princess of Hawaii. More elevators here for this wing and at the end there is a medical clinic. And I'm not really sure if they are accepting patients though. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this video helped you to decide whether you will stay here or not. But for me, it's a great location and it's not that expensive as the other hotels here. The only thing is it's a little bit noisy during nighttime and the rooms are outdated.